Hi there, tenors. Welcome back to our Teaching Through Repertoire series on Galactic Adventure. This is part three of the series. Part one, we went over the whole piece and talked about all the concepts. Part two, we went over the first 12 bars, and this time we're going to go over measures 13 to 22. So we're going to clap and count all our rhythms. We're going to say all our note names and do the fingerings, and then we're going to play through it. Do each section as many times as you need. Slow it down using those controls on YouTube as much as you need until you feel really confident about each part and then put them all together. And when you're confident with this whole video, then you can go on to part five. So let's start, uh, let's refresh real quick. 13 is vigorously. So that's our faster tempo. If you're using your own metronome, we're gonna go 132. So we're gonna set it to 132. Uh, <clears throat> I will put it on when we play through it. While we clap and say note names, we'll just go with me. So here's one, or here's 13. Vigorously, we're gonna clap and say our rhythms using our takadimi, our tas and our tadis. 13, one, two, uh, one, two, three, and ta. 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 That's the end. That's as far as we're gonna go for now. If you felt good about that, we'll go on and do our note names and our fingerings. If you weren't sure about some of that, you aren't sure what some of those symbols mean, you can back that up, you can do it again. Or if you're not sure about the ideas, go back and watch the first video to make sure you know what's going on here. When you're ready, we're gonna go on, we'll do our note names and our fingerings. Same section, same idea. 13, one, two, uh, one, two, say your names, D, two. D two three, D two three four E C D D D E E F D A A G G F F D D E E F E C D. How'd you do? It's a lot of notes, and some of those eighth notes hard to say that that fast. Do it slowly until you're comfortable with it, and you can get that all out in time, in rhythm with me. When you're done with that, then you'll be ready to go on and try playing it. Remember, you can slow that down too. Even saying the note names, you can slow it down. It's okay to go as slow as you need to get really comfortable with it. When you're ready, let's go ahead and play that section. And we'll turn our metronome on. We'll play from 13 to 22. One, two, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, and two, two, three, four, two, three. too bad little section there. Did you feel good about it? Did you get all the notes right? The right length, the right notes in the right spot? All that stuff's important. Did you remember what the accent and the staccato were? Did that make sense when I played it? Did you match what I was doing? If not, do that over and over again. Slow it down and try to get really good with those articulations especially. The notes probably aren't too bad but they move fast. But whatever you struggled with, go ahead and slow it down. Do it several times until you feel really good about it. And if you weren't sure about some of the things that I played or the notes or there anything about that, go back and watch that first part of this series again and you'll get all those concepts and you'll be ready for this. When you feel good about it, great job, good work. We're gonna go on and I'll see you next time for part four. Remember, don't practice till you get it right. Practice till you can't get it wrong. And until then, happy noodling. <laughs>